Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. My neighbor's little tiny dog thinks uh, she has to bark at me because she doesn't really know me that much because they got her in the late, late part of the year. So she's been growing up, so she's not used to me. So, so we're going to be pruning back the old growth on the blackberry bushes that I have here. And on this one, I only have one piece that I need to trim. And it's very much like my other video on the pruning on the raspberries. You want to take out old canes on your raspberry bushes, if at all possible. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come in here and you're going to be looking for old wood. Okay. So if you look here, you can tell the old wood because it is a dark brown color. And if you look at the color of this wood here compared to the wood over here, this one's a softer cane. And so this is a new cane from this year. And this is an old cane from last year. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut out this entire cane down to the bottom here. And then next year, the energy of um, new growth and new canes coming up from the bottom will be putting fruit into here. So like I had stated in the raspberry, This little puppy wants to steal the show. Like I had stated in my other video on the um, the raspberries, it's important to um, trim off old growth because you the old growth will not produce as much fruit, and it'll be sapping a lot of energy away from new growth and new fruit growth because. Last next year, the new canes will put on more fruit, and next spring, so this whole cane here will have fruit. This year did not have fruit, and so then next year this will have fruit on it. And the old cane will have would probably maybe get a little bit of fruit, but for the most part, it wouldn't have a ton of fruit. And so you don't want the energy being sucked up and um, taken away from the new fruit growth because you'll get more fruit growth on new growth the following year. So kind of the same thing that I had shared in my other video on um, how to prune and prep your raspberry plants for the following year and harvests for the next year. So these are just new plants that I have and so there wasn't a whole lot to trim on the blackberries. My other blackberries, all new growth from this year. All of them have all new growth. And so I won't be doing any trimming on those at all. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. And don't forget, like and subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.